Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today I'm here to film my whole nail polish collection project finale. <laughs> this is a project that I've been doing for the past two years, I think, um, in collaboration with a lot of other nail polish YouTubers and Instagram accounts. It is created and organized by Amanda at the Nail Polish Hound. And all of that information is always listed in the description box. But I wanted to do my finale because um, it's the end of December. So let's get to it. All right, so I didn't actually finish. I'm trying to get my like, notes situated here. I know my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower. I have like 30 minutes to try to film like 15 videos. So sorry, I threw some makeup on and here we are. I did not finish everything, but I'm gonna talk about everything and show you pictures of what I did wear. Actually, I, I guess I haven't done an update since October. I didn't realize that. I. I think that's just how time is working right now. But uh, the first one that I wore was Fancy Glass Peacock Feathers, and this is a beautiful dark teal linear holographic nail polish. This is lovely. It's almost a one coat polish. The formula is incredible. I will absolutely be keeping this. I loved wearing this. I feel like I could wear this color every week and just never get sick of it. It's beautiful. We don't get a lot of sun in the winter here, so it's not, um, you know, I don't get a lot of sun when I wear this. Uh, but the color is so beautiful, it's it's lovely. So two coats of Fancy Gloss Peacock Feathers. Oh, I forgot my tray. Oh, wow. The next polishes were a trio of polishes that I wore as a manicure. So we have ILNP Mega S. This is one of, I think they have four in the Mega silver hollow family so there's mega there's mega s there's mega x and i i'm pretty sure there's another mega and i can never remember what it is and they just increase in holographic intensity as you go up and i think this is one of the lower intensity but it's still a very very intense silver holographic nail polish this one um is a silver holographic nail polish so typically need like the three coats but the formula is really easy to work with it just the the there's so much like holographic pigment in it you need the third coat to like make it look opaque but this is beautiful i love this and i will absolutely be keeping this i wore that with moonshine manny the moist maker this is from her uh thanksgiving with friends part two collection one of my favorite collections from phoebe i love i love all of the friends polishes so much but um, i love the moist maker this is a medium dusty blue uh just packed with aurora shimmer that shifts from like the greenish blue to violet it's so beautiful this one also needs three coats but the formula is lovely and the polish is beautiful and then uh, salon perfect cotton candy this is from their dip and dots collection this is a sky blue polish and i really liked all three of these together i thought this combination was really pretty and i was a big fan so two coats of Slum Perfect Cat Candy. In November, I wore none of these because November was not a great month for manicure. So in December, I wore the next two polishes. We have China Glaze Wicked Liquid. This is from a Halloween collection a certain time ago. I don't remember if it was last year. What was last year's? last year? I don't remember. This is a really, really dark, murky green it's almost like a, it's not a blackened green, but it's a very, very dark, murky looking green shimmer polish. This is incredibly opaque though. It I, I wore this in one coat and I thought it looked perfect. I wore that with Graceful Nail Polish, I'm the Man. This is from her, uh, one of her Gilmore Girls collections. And I love this in the bottle, but on my nails, like it doesn't translate. So I think I will pass on I'm the Man, but I'm absolutely gonna keep Wicked Liquid because this is stunning. And I like this polish, but it's not something that I reach for a lot. So it looks so pretty in the bottle, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't translate on my nails, so. I'm going to pass that one. I'm going to put it up here though so I like remember to keep it separate. Okay, so those are the polishes that I wore. I have four that I didn't wear. I'm going to leave them out on my rack because I do want to wear them, but I just didn't get to them by the time I'm filming this update, which is at the end of December. So it's time. And I know I'm going to keep all of these polishes because I love these brands and I've 
swatch them and I, I think they're going to be beautiful but oh and I have I have worn them in the past but I I just didn't get to it by the update so the first is from Emily Damali this is called high degree and this is from polish pickup June 2019 this is a really vivid fuchsia with uh chameleon like glitters these are they're shifting from blue to green to red to orange really fun and vibrant I think this will be like really nice in January actually when it's old depression month for weather we have one from great like sacred this is called I am no man this is from her Lord of the Rings Hell Handmade Creations series that she did a couple years ago um beautiful soft pink with a an, with a lovely aurora shimmer you can't you can kind of see the orange it's looking green on my side and orange on yours um you know I love Great Lakes Lacquer I, I don't really ever get rid of her polishes I love all of them I think the formulas are beautiful and I I just love her polishes we have one from Love Angeline. This is a brand that's no longer available, but I love these polishes and I will not be getting rid of this. This is called Cosmo and this is a matte sapphire blue shimmer. It is stunning. It looks beautiful matte. And of course it looks beautiful with a shiny top coat. I love these polishes so much. I, I have several, I have this collection. It was like a drinks inspired collection and all the polishes are that matte finish and they are just gorgeous so I know I'm keeping that one the only polish that is maybe one that I might consider passing on is one from Zoya this is called Carry, and it's a very yellowy gold shimmer I think the polish is beautiful but I just don't wear this color a ton um but I'm like I said I'm gonna leave all of these on the rack and wear them but I, I just didn't get to it yet so this is the only one that I might consider passing on but I also don't own a lot of this color at all like I I can't think of another yellowy gold like this that I own. I'm sure I have one. But I just can't think of it. So I might keep it for that reason because I don't, this isn't a color that I choose very often and it is actually kind of unique to my collection, which is rare because I have a lot of hand polish. That is the finale to my whole collection project, whole collection nail polish project. I love this project. This is one of my favorite project pans, even though it's not, finishing anything it's it's a usage project and i really like that i can't wait to start it over again next year i know amanda has mentioned that she's gonna change it up a little bit and i'm curious to see how uh that's another reason that i like the project is everyone can can run the project on their own like with their own rules if you want to do it as untrieds if you want to choose certain colors if you want to choose only new polishes if you want to do it randomly you know you can you can choose the polishes however you like and I really I really like that and I've been doing them randomly because the only untrieds I have actually all of those on that rack aren't even untried there's only a few that are untried so I'm curious to see uh what uh, new ideas Amanda has and maybe I'll implement those or maybe I'll just keep doing it this way we don't know we'll see if you guys were following along with this project and completing the project yourself I would love to know how your progress went I um next year would like to maybe keep track of how many polishes I did de-stash Maybe I'll go through my videos and watch. No, I'm not going to do that. I, I don't want to go through and watch my videos. That sounds terrible. It's bad enough I have to listen to myself talk when I'm editing. I don't want to watch my videos. I don't know how my polishes I de-stash. I should probably keep track of that. But that's like a goal for next year, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you in my next video.